This is from Warren Sharp, Sharp Football. Uh, highest rate of incompletions due to receiver error. Number one was Jacksonville at 22%, Rams and Titans 21%, Ravens, Texans, and Chiefs at 20%, tied for seventh, Raiders, Seahawks, Vikings, Lions, Bills 19%, and the Browns tied for 12th, Cowboys, Chargers, and uh, the Browns at 18%. So still, um, uh, that's 18% incompletion percentage because of receiver errors. It's not exactly what you're looking for. Yeah, not at all. And I mean, that's why you go out and trade for a Jerry Judy. That's why you draft a Jamari Thrash to kind of add more depth and competition at a receiver. And when you look at this depth chart, obviously, Amari Cooper, we, we still got to see what happens with him in his holdout situation. Elijah Moore heading into the last year of his rookie deal. I would hope, I would imagine he's going to want to try and have a big season. Cedric Tillman, we talked about last week, I, I think has got a good chance to really have a jump in year two after flashing a little as a rookie, maybe not as much as everybody expected, but the talent on, on this in this receiving core is clear. I think part of the issue last year also is the fact that, you know, catching, trying to catch the ball from so many different quarterbacks, it, takes time to adjust. I mean, going from Deshaun Watson to DTR to PJ Walker back to DTR and then to Joe Flacco, certainly an adjustment. So you could understand in that case, when you don't have consistency at starting quarterback, why you would have some issues at receiver. But at the same time, there's more talent at receiver right now. There should be competition. And that's the kind of thing that gets guys to play better. So we'll see how that all translates, especially in a new offensive system with Ken Dorsey as the offensive coordinator.